Hello, hello everyone. Today, I am excited because I'm going to be starting uh, The Forgotten City. Uh, this came as of recording right now. It only came out like maybe three days ago. I downloaded it, didn't get a chance to play it until now, so I'm very excited. Uh, I actually got this game like... Um, so, you know, let's just start first before I start talking about like how I even bump into this game. This is It's a pretty small game. Right, small as in the sense is like it's not your AAA industry game. Uh, you know, let's just let's just dive right into the action. I mean, I'll share you know a bit of my perspective later. This game was developed by a core team of free people and from four years. Your support allows us. Oh, whoop! This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Now that is what I mean. That's pretty cool. Three guys, four years committed to this. And it got pretty good uh, Metacritic ratings too, so check them out, guys. Please support, support them. Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. What? So, wanna tell me who you are? Well, lady, that's because I am broke. Maybe you found me here in the river. Maybe I tried to kill myself. You didn't know that. You know, I, my, my business failed. Jeez. Um, sorry. Body type. Is this male versus female? Okay. Uh, you know, I'm a male. I'm gonna go for a male. At least I think this is a male. I mean... I mean, hey, back in the day, Romans have like crazy hairdos anyways, right? I can't even tell. I think there's a woman. Actually, there's a ponytail, so. I'm a male. I'm a boy. Uh, am I dark skin, light skin? Does it matter? Um, Can I be middle? Actually, middle sounds... Middle is kind of weird because they have that weird red ember glow to them. That one, I'm worried I can't see myself. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with default. Uh, Jaiko. Save choices and continue. Well, yes. It's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I failed my business. Anyways, um. Whoa. Uh, years of studying history gives you the occasional insight into the ancient world. Uh, you have a military issue firearm, but only 10 bullets. You have to use them juristically. Juristically? Yeah. Since there's no way of getting more, your time on the run from a 40s has made you quick on your feet and your 25% when sprinting. Uh, your recent head trauma has increased your brain threshold, making you 50% harder to tick down. Um, You know what? I think this will make a better experience, right? Knowing what this game is about. I mean, these are very combat and stealth oriented. You know, I'm going to go for this one. Uh, I was in searching for the ancient runes. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Well, if you ask so nicely, please. By the way, I noticed the voice acting here, and then they said that there's four people working on it. I wonder if the voice actors are hired, or if heck, one of the, you know, the developers are the one doing the voice for her. Anyhow, uh, mind if I ask some questions first? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just, what do you want to know? Um, oh, where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Mm. Can you tell me about the runes? Not much, really. 
But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Wow, you have a lot of faith in a stranger. Uh, have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Um, what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? You mean real life? Uh, you're not even gonna tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Um... Why don't you want to tell me? Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that... I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's... Karen. Yeah, with that name in this day and age? Man, that's a meme. Um... Well, thanks for saving my life, Karen. Um... Uh... You're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Uh, that's all the question I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? The call to adventure. Hell yeah. Um... Alright, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. A heavy-duty battery power flashlight. Examine the item. Is there anything special to examine? Just flashlight, right? Okay, take it. Cool. Um, WAC to move. Okay, cool. Oh, whoa. Do I get burn damage? Oh, you even have, like, some food going on. Is that a fish? Nice. Oh, wow. Whoa, I think I just dropped some frames there, but... Ooh. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. Okay, I felt like I dropped some frames in there. I wasn't sure if it's, like, my computer. Do I need to bring down the settings or something? All right, you know, we'll play a little bit first before we uh, decide on that. But so far, hey, I mean, it looks beautiful. Right? I turned off motion blur, by the way, in the settings before uh, I started recording, so... Uh, down to, like, 15- uh, 20%, I believe. So, I'll double-check that, too, if I need to. Ooh. This is, like, Indiana Jones, but in... With Roman pillars. Alright, shift. Alright, oh, okay, nice. Whoa. It's like... My face pressed forward when I tried to, like... Run. That's a little... It'll take some time to get used to. But... Is that a backpack? Oh, nice. Backpack. Backpack. Examine. A backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, it seems strange that Eld left it behind. Uh, can I examine? Oh, yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, that thing is spinning like crazy, whoa. Anyways, um, focus, 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 Jago. Anything special that I can take? Okay, there's nothing special to look at. Okay, cool. Uh, let's leave item then. Um, left or right, guys? Right is always right. Um, oh, collision blocked. Okay, so I'm not right. Um, sorry, game. Um... Left, I guess? Oh, actually, no, inside. Jeez. <laughs> Doi, Jaiko. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Okay. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? 
It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Al the poet, what can I say? Um... Whoa! What happened? Oh. Okay. Cool. Am I in like the Roman bath room? Or like the, you know, the, the, the bath? Alright. Uh, follow... Can I use the flashlight? What's the... What's the uh, button for flashlight? F? Left, right? Maybe? One, two, three, four? What's the flashlight button? Okay, is there a key binding? Uh, controls. Do, 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 do. This is not... Oh, bindings. There we go. Um, WSD. Space jump crouch. Okay, very standard. There is no sign of a flashlight. I'm guessing I will just pull it out when it gets too, too dark, right? Alright, sleep. Always remember they're watching. Okay. Ooh, so, okay. I picked the archaeologist um, character type, right? So I can read this. See, that's why I wanted to uh, pick that character type. Um... Okay, okay, now we're... Not creepy at all. I'm not going crazy. Use... Is that... Eel? Oh, okay, okay, there you go. Oh, cool, it's a mosaic of something. I can't see. Whoa! You know how heavy these rooftops are? You have to forge them in gold? Whoa. Is that guy gonna attack me? Is there... I don't have my weapon yet. I, I can't do PvP yet. Open? Oh, I just... Oh, okay. So in this game, you don't open. You just... Push through. Push through? Okay. Lost some frames there. The game's probably trying to load the next room. Hey. Okay. This is like, you know, another one of those Lovecraft, Lovecraft realms. Uh, hit F5 to S save, F9 to load. That's pretty standard. Probably not going to need it, guys. But why would I need to save? I'm just going to, you know, one-shot this game, right? Oh, cool. Uh, are they all? Oh, no, they're looking at different things. You know, I have to... Is this... Is this gold? Oh, that is gold, too. Sorry, I thought it was bronze or something for a second. Okay. Well, I must have dropped very, very high up. Or, or unless that's a magical portal, but, you know. If this was... By any laws of physics in... Real life. These brazos are very well lit. So, whoa! Oh, waterfall. I'm guessing I'm going that way. Yeah, it looks like I'm going that way. Yep. Going on. Yada yada yada. 
Um. What's the point of hanging an already petrified person in gold? Or I guess he's not. He wasn't petrified in gold before uh, uh, when he was hanged. Inspect. A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Uh, there's some sort of inscription, right? Okay, yep. Inscribe stone tablet. Take. Whoever is this? I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Okay, cool. So we're getting into the cross of uh, the game. Oh, by the way, I, I know... I mean, I watched the trailers, obviously, so I kind of know what the jits of the game is talking about. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, please check out the trailers, at least. Might make you want to perhaps play it yourself. Okay, yep, yep. I'm being like siren to like a certain direction, I feel like. Find the door into the pass. Oh, there it is. Roman man on his knees as if begging for God's mercy. Oh, I can click on these statues. I wonder if I can click on the ones I just passed. Anyways, don't matter. Okay, it's beckoning me into this. Let's go! Oh, I'm getting a bit nausea from looking at that. Press P to enter photo mode in game. A Roman relief depicting a great circ what? circular portal and two women. I wonder who could they be? Find out how to return back to your original timeline. Whoa, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna completely turn off motion blur. I feel like something is making me nausea. Sorry, someone, something's making me nauseous. I was like, that sounded wrong coming out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Maybe... I'll keep the field of vision. We got a few. For now. And see if that makes it better. Okay, let's, let's, let's see if this makes it better. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Um, uh, wait, you speak English? Oh, trying to pers- oh, wait, wait, you speak English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? Uh, shrine of Persopina? Yeah, you know. Agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Ah. Uh, um. 
I'm Jaiko and I came from the future. No, you know what? I'm gonna say I'm Jaiko and get a lot. I got and I got lost. Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Ah, uh, all right, lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Oh, I can Only follow. Three nice. of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Ugh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. <laughs> She's, uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. To the farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Uh, what's this about? I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. Alright, lead the way. Follow me. I'm guessing... The only thing you really oh. need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. That was just chilling. Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Charming. <laughs> uh, 
You know any way out here? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Uh, can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Um. When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. Uh, was she seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Um, you look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Eh, I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Cool. Oh, whoa, the guard just gone? Oh, okay, he probably just left. Is that stairs? Hey, the stairs are not equal. Nice. That's a nice touch. Okay. I just want to explore a little bit before talking to the magistrate. Oh, oh. Stenia to Stennis. May Jupiter Optimus. Maximus, continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter, and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise we'll wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father, and Sen Sentina with as my sister. I don't remember who's the older sister, who's the younger already. The names are so familiar, or similar. Uh, I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month but I but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be you will be re-elected I'm sure of it uh, so next page oh there is next page oh there is no next okay um I guess that's it cool is there anything else to read I'm being a no oh oh is that money Eh, I don't want to feel like stealing. Not from this guy yet. I want to know what's going on. Anyhow. Good the ministry. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Jaco. A curious name. To match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. 
Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I uh, can't say I have. Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. What? So, there's a... So because of me coming into this underground secret city, that is a symbol or omen that someone's gonna break the rules and everybody's gonna die. Interesting. How does he know that? Like, oh, um... What do you mean when you said Persepina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Uh, you're right. I'm from 2000 into the future. 2000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us? Of this city? Uh... I didn't see anything. I don't want to tell the truth. Lie all you want, but I see the truth in your eyes. Um... What... How does... How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in a temple. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Um... What counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. 
It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Um... Not sure if that's a good idea. What is your legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric from wh where I'm from. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Wait, so I wonder if this is a uh, Rome as in like a... Uh, uh, sorry, if this version of the Rome in the game is like some fantasy version where... Their laws are refined. Obviously, my statement was correct if I'm using it to judge the, you know, the real historical Rome. Um, don't, you know what, let, let's do a few of these here. I think the most... Don't you collective, don't you practice collective punishment? Yeah. Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Uh, where I'm from, we consider that a horde. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Um, why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Like what I did to your one of your eldest daughter. Fair enough. Uh, do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Um. Mm, do you think it could be related to. S you know what? Fair enough. You know what? I like what he says. That's fair enough. Um, if I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Um... I think so. You know what? I'm not going to question too much about the whole time traveling theory. I, like, there's so many holes and paradoxes. You know what? I'm just going to take it the game the way it is. Uh, that's all the questions I oh, had. Good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break? 
the golden rule. All right, I'm in. Doesn't seem like I have my choice. No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Good point, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right, I'll get started. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay, cool. It's funny how he told me that like he's not going to direct any of my investigation. Then he just goes ahead telling me to go to the forums. Okay, you know what? I am going to cut my uh, video short here. I'm running at the 40 minute mark. Uh, you know, I actually just need a quick washroom break. So might as well cut it off. Seems like a good place to stop. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm sure part two is just one click away. Thank you, everyone.